Hello everyone, this is Global Fashion Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. I also want to remind you that some of my video courses are already available. Buy them if you haven't done it yet. I would really appreciate your support. Today I'd like to share with you some more of my tailor's tips. I am not a stylist. I am not going to make any general recommendations. I do not advise tall or short, slim or fat people what to wear. But as a constructor and a tailor, I can imagine how this or that person should look like, because I have been sewing individual clothing for many years. I do not make any general recommendations about style, but I know how a high-quality garment should look like and fit. This is my tailor style tips. I want you to understand that I make these recommendations from my tailor's point of view. These tips are not only for those who sew their own clothes. You should also take them into consideration when buying garments in shops. What to pay your attention to? Last time I told you about the accurate button stand placement and the width of the button stand. Today I'd like to talk about delicate seams. The elegance of your garments depends on the seams, whether they are thin or not. This is very important, more important than you think. The more delicate are the seams and the corners, the more elegant and lighter your garment is. Too big seam allowance and bulky seams can spoil your garments. I am going to talk to you about the width of the seam allowance, about the seams between button stands and facing, about trimming the seams, and about the overcast. For example, you make a shoulder dart. You don't cut the extra pieces from it, press it to one of the sides, then make a shoulder seam and also press it to one of the sides. Thus, you get a knot at the shoulder. It doesn't make your garment look stylish. When sewing a dart, you should cut the corners. You should press it carefully. In this case, the seam will be flat and neat. As for the armholes, the seam allowance should be not more than 7 mm wide. In some cases, especially when you sew delicate fabrics, it can be 5 mm. But usually it's 7. 10 mm is too much. It makes the seam too big. The armhole would look rough, but it should be soft. Big seams make garments look clumsy. If you sew a coat and make an overcast 5 or 6 cm wide instead of 3 cm and then cover it with a lining, it looks awful. The same if an overcast in sleeves is 5 cm instead of 3 cm. Oh my! Where it is pressed, but the extra pieces in the corners are not trimmed, it doesn't look good. When you sew a linen dress, you stitch side seams and princess seams. If you make an overcast and do not cut the angles, it would be too thick. It wouldn't look stylish. When making an overcast, you need to cut all the extra pieces, trim the edges and cut the corners. I want to repeat once again. The seam allowance shouldn't be big. The seams should be tight. Cut all the extra pieces after the first fitting. Cut the extra pieces from the seams and the corners on the shoulders when you make a shoulder dart. 
or edging a neckline with a facing, or stitching a collar. As for the inner seam between a button stand and the facing, this seam allowance should also be 7 mm. You should additionally cut 3 or 2 mm from one of the sides, otherwise the button stand would be too thick. Sometimes I see button stands with 1 cm seam allowance, not trimmed, or coats with thick seams and cuffs. It doesn't look good. I wanted to learn to edge the garments accurately, to make small and neat seams, to cut all the extra pieces to make your garments look elegant. Cut the extra pieces, the allowance from the seams and corners in the overcasts, especially when making garments with slits. Slits have to be neat. Although all of the seams are hidden inside, they are still visible from the right side. I can see them easily. I am a tailor. Let's sum up. If you want to make modern and stylish garments, make neat and small seams. Cut all the extra pieces from them. Cut the corners. Do not make too wide overcasts. When the seams are pressed, they are printed out on face. That's why they should be very neat. We need to learn to sew elegant garments. For example, the width of the side seam in this blouse is 7 mm. The seam is very light, it doesn't sag. Try making light garments. I've already talked to you about the Chanel style. I'm also going to talk to you about Yves Saint Laurent style. You should have a complex approach to your wardrobe. It's better to take into consideration different aspects to look stylish. As a tailor, I try to draw your attention to the shoulder seams. Armholes, fit in ease, button stand placement. As I've already said, I'm not a stylist. I share with you my ideas from the point of view of a tailor and a constructor. I'm glad that I have an opportunity to tell you about making delicate seams. I hope that you find this information helpful and that you learn to sew your garments accurately. The garments we wear should be accurate and high quality. I am not here to give you any general recommendations about style. I want us to be different and beautiful every day. My name is Irina Paukšta. Buy my courses, subscribe to my channel, write comments, share the videos, press the like and the bell buttons. I would really appreciate your support. Thank you. Goodbye.